Hello, this is Toll from Trifro Productions with another Blender Quick Tip. And in this Quick Tip, I'm going to introduce everyone to an add-on called the Cell Fluid Add-on. It's an add-on that simulates uh, water. It's like flip fluids, but just not as precise. Uh, but it's got some advantages to it and some upsides to it. It's only for Blender 3.6 and above, and that's pretty much it. It doesn't work in any other version of Blender, which I don't know why that is. Uh, I said 3.6 and above. I think it's only for 3.6 only. Only works in 3.6. No other version. Which is, it's different. But um, um, I'm using 3.61. And like I said before, it's uh, paid for or paid add-ons. You have to pay for it. And the, for the price of it, it's not too bad. And the installation is still the same. Just go to Edit. Preferences. Install, because I'll leave a link of it below this video so you can download yourselves and check it out. And just navigate to where you download it on your system. Click on Install Add-on. I've already done that myself. And let's type in Cell here. And you just put a check in the box and it's activated. And it's on the right-hand side of your user interface in the tool panel right here. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, there's not a lot of options to it. So even after you've set up the whole fluid scene, there's not that many options. Uh, but it's still not too bad. Let's click on our cube there. Left click on our cube and press delete on our keyboard. <clears throat> and press on new fluid. And it automatically gives us a domain to work with. I'm going to click on this to make this a little bit taller. Um, and click on my move gizmo and SZ to make this cube taller. Can have more real estate to work with. And it's uh, got the side of the domain you can change the size of it here or you can just do it like i did it manually uh the max depth uh this got uh probably let me see five collections initial initial fluid uh the inflow outflow the ground effector and because it's not that many options here we'll just go through all of them uh, now it uses collections in order to simulate fluid so what we're going to do is press Shift A on our keyboard, go to Mesh, and type or activate the cube, and left click and drag this up. Now we have to put this cube in the collection, but let's name our cube first. Uh, the first collection we want to do, let's click back on our domain there, is Initial. So let's click on our cube. You don't have to do this, but for the sake of organization, it's, it's good to just name your models in Blender. Double click on Q and let's type an initial I N I T I A L enter. And we're going to go back to our domain by left clicking on that and click on initial uh, this icon here to create a uh, collection. Now you have to drag your cube into the fluid uh, collection. So left click and drag this up and in the um, what's this called again in the outliner. You're going to drag that cube into that, and as you can see, it starts off by giving us the first simulation for our scene here. Now let's change our viewport so we can see what it looks like in Eevee. I think it renders in cycles also, but we're just going to keep it in Eevee for the sake of this tutorial. When we press play, you can see that it gives us a splash of water. Now the bigger your uh, initial object is which is your cube here you can be a cube it could be a sphere it could be Suzanne but the bigger it is the more water comes out of your cube now as you can see this is already textured but the thing I've seen with this uh, simulation is that it doesn't look real close up if I click on it and I press play and I pause it at that scene there you can see that it's almost like it's it's it just has images of water splashes pretty much I, I don't think that's what it is but that's what it looks like so if you were to use this uh add-on it's best you just don't zoom in too close because it doesn't look real at all and if we play it it just you can tell that it's not actual water it's not like flip fluids it flip fluids you have the you have tons of options for flip fluids like you have the um white caps on water, you have the foam, the bubbles. This has none of that at all. So with this add-on, it's good to zoom out from it and 
animated that way. Don't zoom in with the camera. Just stay, stay, you know, a good distance from it. That way, people can tell that won't be able to tell it's not actual water. But moving on, we have our cube there, which uh, is going to simulate our initial uh, dump of water. And if you want to do an inflow, it's the same process. Click on this icon there, and that it turns it into another collection for inflow. Now, we can use the same cube if you want to, or add another cube, but I'm going to just use the same cube, and it's the same process. Just have um, that cube that you have, all, the original cube, just drag it into the inflow. So this is our cube here. We named it initial. So left click and drag into inflow. And then when we press play, it's just a constant inflow of water, so to speak, of fluid. And it's just going to keep going until it uh, goes through the whole timeline there. Which is bad, but once again, it's trying to simulate like foam and, you know, bubbles and things like that. But you can tell that it's not real. It doesn't look real at all. But from a distance, it's fine. Close up, not so much. Let's stop that. Now, outflow, we're going to use a different object for outflow. I'm going to use a sphere. So Shift-A. Go to Mesh. And we're going to click UV Sphere. And we're going to pull this out. And you have to make sure that whatever objects you want to use in your fluid scene, make sure it interacts with the domain. So we're going to press 3 to go into our side view. Let's press 1 actually, go into the uh, side view. And we're going to press our, or drag our cube on the x-axis, or from the x-axis to the edge of our domain here. We're going to press S to scale it up so we can see, it, see what it does a little bit better. And let's change the world uh, color to be a little bit brighter, not that bright. And then we're going to go back to our domain, click on that. And we're going to click on the icon again to go to outflow. And once again, let's name our uh, sphere. Uh, let's call this outflow. Outflow, enter. And we're going to drag it into the outflow collection. So that can actually cause the water that's coming in to come out. And we're going to press play. You can see that now that we've uh, activated our sphere as an outflow, <coughs> excuse me, it's actually uh, draining out the water from our domain here. If you look really close, you can see the water coming off the back of our the back of our sphere, and it's actually sucking in the water from the top. So it does a good job with that, but once again, not so close because it doesn't look real. It's just a simulation. If you click on our domain again, you can add a ground plane to it. Uh, and I've, I've tried to toy with the effector, but it doesn't seem to do anything to tell you the truth. I don't know if that's a bug or what it is, but the effector is supposed to affect the water in some way, but... I've tried as much as I can, but it doesn't seem to do much. But what we're going to do is that we're going to use the ground as an effector. And we're going to add Suzanne this time. Let's press Shift-A on our keyboard. Go to Mesh. And click on Monkey. Let's pull this up. Pull her over. And we're going to have her actually affect the water coming out from the top. And let's uh, pull our inflow up higher so we can have more territory to work with, more uh, real estate. And we're going to put Suzanne in the middle, 7. And we're going to drag her over. And I press S to scale her up so she can have a bigger effect on uh, the inflow of water. Drag her up on the Z-axis. And press again on our domain and click on ground. Click on uh, Suzanne also and let's rename her to ground. You don't have to rename her to ground specifically, but I just do that just to keep track of the models. So ground, G-R-O-U-N-D, enter. And we're going to drag Suzanne into the ground collection. Left click and drag her up. And we're going to press play again and see what she does. And now I can see that the water is trying to go around her because it's gotten wider around her. And yeah, that's pretty much how this add-on works. It does real-time simulations with water simulations. But once again, they don't look real. So if you use this add-on uh, camera-wise, have your camera a good distance away from it. That way, if you zoom in, people won't say, hey, that's just fake water. So that's uh, an introduction to the self-flows add-on. Great add-on when it comes to 
uh, real-time water simulation. Not so great when it comes to an actual water flow, but it does what it does, and it's, it's not too bad. And that's today's Blender Quick Tip, and I really thank you guys for uh, all your support. And I hope this video was helpful for those of you who have been watching. And remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.